a new record high for child COVID-19 hospitalizations as more students return to school for the first time in a year. Some districts are closing schools following deaths and a spike in cases. In today's Health Minute, Emily Schmidt has a closer look at the concerning numbers. Growing concerns about rising COVID-19 cases among children who are being hospitalized at the highest rate in more than a year. New CDC data showing just how seriously the Delta variant can hit people who are unvaccinated. Most either are unvaccinated or under the age of 12 and unable to get vaccinated. Uh, the numbers have been three or four times what we were seeing last winter at its peak. The CDC says between August 20th and 26th, an average of 330 children were admitted to hospitals every day with COVID-19. Yeah, I have a mission for them to get two or three other people vaccinated and for the kids who are in high school to get some of their classmates vaccinated. It comes as COVID-19 concerns for some schools in Florida and Texas to go virtual again. In Texas, a school district closing schools after two teachers died of COVID-19 in the same week. In Northwest Florida, school districts in two counties also shutting down until after Labor Day, either due to a spike in COVID cases or quarantine related staffing shortages or both. Neither district mandates masks for students or staff. Meanwhile, FDA advisors will meet September 17th to discuss Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine boosters. That's just three days before the White House target date. They are preparing for the likelihood that we will be giving boosters to individuals and logistically we'll be starting it on the week of September the 20th. For today's Health Minute, I'm Emily Schmidt.